Hello everybody. This is a this is a new type of video um, on this channel, and I'm just I'm trying to open the video in style, but unfortunately I can't get my finger under the top of the can. There we go. Right. What's it? Eternal Session IPA by Northern Monk. Or it's either Northern Monk Session IPA by Eternal. Doesn't really matter. Cheers. Now, today's video, you might notice, oh, we've got different sites up and blah, blah, blah. Yes, because something's caught my eye. Other than the fact, just before we start, I feel I should say, see these glasses? There. Can you see the reflection? Right, that's not meant to be there. I've got proper glasses to use when I'm on camera and use when I'm using the, the monitors. But for some reason, I've managed to lose them. So I've only got my normal daytime ones on, which have the lenses in which reflect, whereas my other ones don't reflect. And also it has tinted glass, so it... I don't know whether it's better with them on or off. I can't actually see the monitors. No, we'll go with them on, and you'll just have to excuse the reaction, the reflection. If I keep it down, there we go. Right, so today we are going to be reacting or reviewing, or whatever you want to call, Senator Mitch McConnell. So this is an American thing. And this is going to be part of a new kind of style of video I suppose on this channel where we talk about political things and what's been going on in the world not just political but obviously it's the start of September now so the UK government has been on um, recess so there hasn't actually been anything happening really which I, th I forgot that it was August <laughs> until about three weeks ago and I thought Oh, we haven't heard anything from the government. They must be doing something right. And then I realised, no, they're just not there. So, you know, anyway, so we're going to be reviewing Senator Mitch McConnell. Now, the first time this, like, freezing episode happened, it was about a month or so ago. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Right. I found it. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, right, so I found it. So it happened about a month ago in the US Capitol. And the uh, Republican Senate leader, who is Mitch McConnell, was doing a press conference and he just froze. And nobody could quite understand what on earth was going on. So... We're going to watch, the, and it's an incredibly awkward thing. Like, I got goosebumps. It was so cringy and so awkward. It just makes you, it made me wonder what on earth is going on. So, we've got what, uh, from Slate.com, what doctors think are, is happening. But we're just going to review it. The This is the one about a month ago. And see if there's any kind of, well, you can you can make your own mind up with what you think. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. There's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of
That's an interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting re recommended video. Um, yeah. So that was the one about a month ago, and it's quite strange. So he starts talking, but even from the precise when he starts, is it? It's not like you can see a gradual decline. It's like when he started, there was already something wrong. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a so that's okay. Path to finishing the NDA. Uh, and then something ha something happens here. Cooperation. Right, so he loses his sentence. His mind looks like it just goes completely blank. And everything in his eyes, he just loses everything. And he's just kind of... He's just staring into space. And then... There, it looks like he goes wobbly or weak or dizzy of some sort. And his his eye, he isn't looking around. He's, his eyes are dead, dead fixed on... Something now we don't know what is behind the camera, but presumably it's it's press and other other reporters. Um, but it doesn't look like he's looking at one of them in particular. It just looks like he's staring through them. He's not. His eyes aren't moving around. He isn't looking around at the, the group of people. This man here is like, this, uh, um, and the edge of his face looks like, he looks like he's quite hot or perhaps warm or something because he looks like reflective skin. Now, that's the one which happened a month ago. If we go to the one which happened three days ago, and he, he wasn't in, the, in Washington, he was away somewhere, um, Kentucky event, right. Um, if we go and have a look at the one which happened a few days ago. I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. What are your thoughts on where Right, so the recording starts. And he doesn't seem to go doze off so quickly. It's a, it's more of a slow dive into it, I suppose. Um, and he managed it. it obviously, someone asked him something, and, and he didn't hear them or misunderstood them, so he said, "Can't hear you." Um, and they ask again. And even now, he's looking at the person who's repeating the question, and he he looks to be staring not not looking at them receiving the information which they're saying he's just looking at them but straight through them um what are my thoughts about what and he doesn't understand it again ah! i've managed to make it bigger here we go sorry running for re-election so so someone asked him if he's going to run to be re-elected. Um, and he laughs at it. Running for re-election in 2016. Which normally I'd, I'd say that people would do to make light or to take the tension off. So maybe he was feeling tense. Um, Now, I haven't actually seen this in its entirety, so let me just... What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yeah. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Okay. 
Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. Oh, 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 oh. No. Right, that, this one, this more recent one, doesn't seem like it's as severe, whatever it is. Because the last one, when people were speaking to him and saying, are you okay, back at this one, he just carried on looking dead set and wasn't really responding. Whereas this more recent one, um, someone says, are you okay? Or what was it here? Question, Senator, running for re-election. Yeah, so someone asked, did you hear the question? And he goes, mm-hmm. Like, yes, I did hear the question. But it's like his brain didn't click on for, yes, he heard it, so now you answer it. In 2026. It's like his whole reason for being there has shifted. He's not the he's not he's no longer there. Everyone's waiting to to listen to him answer. It's like he's one of the audience listening to someone else answering, and someone says, do you, do you, and he goes, and they're waiting to listen to another person. That's just bizarre. And then. This one doesn't feel like he, like this other one, he was completely out of it. Whereas this one, he could hear what people were saying and he was of much more of a conscious state to be able to say, yes, I did hear it. Did you hear the question? Yes. All right. Re-election in 2026. Did you hear a question? Are you going to run for re-election in 2026? Hmm. And that was it. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Now, the interesting thing is that when this lady here, sorry, when this person here, I can't presume it's 2023, um, when this person here says, okay, we're going to need a minute, she winks with one eye. Now, this is obviously a very public thing. I mean, it's had 202,000 views and it's, it's been shared across, it's gone across the whole world. Um, but when, when she winks, that's almost like she's uh, trying to, she's like, it's happened again, just give us a moment. Like they're, like the people behind kind of, I don't know, but it's really hard to explain. But if if this had happened for the first time, she would have been quite panicked or quite worried. But her going, we'll need a minute, and winking. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. It's like it's happened again, just like they were almost expecting it, or they hadn't ruled out the possibility that it would happen again. Of course, this one was the second time it's happened. I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Kenny. Now, when she says Minnie or whoever this person is, she's, uh, they are trying to contact. She isn't saying it in a way like there's a problem here with this serious panic. Get someone over here now. She's saying, she says it in a way such as like, it's happened again. Can you? It's not a tense or a, or a worried um, tone. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Kenny. Like, none of them are rushing. None of them are coming over and going... Oh, God. Okay, and so then, so then this man here says... Are you going to come this person i need to get better at this this person needs uh, says are you going to come with us and mitch mcconnell says i'm okay and then he goes he goes off 
and oh, now. Um, and it's like he's going to resume. Just that's happened. Ignore that. We're going to start again. Um, and. Now the aide, or whoever it is here, says, um, has anyone got another question, and can you speak up? Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. <sighs> it's just bizarre. And the, the subtle differences between the first one, which happened five weeks ago, and the second one, which happened three days ago. It's just interesting to note the differences. So now we continue. There's an ask. Oh, so this happened on the 30th of August. And there was an article published to Slate.com on the 1st of September by Shirin Ali. And it's it says what doctors think is happening. So On Wednesday, Senator Mitch McConnell froze up during a routine public event in his home state of Kentucky. As a reporter asked the 81-year-old his thoughts on running for re-election in 2026, McConnell stood stock still, unblinking. That's interesting. Unblinking. Is he blinking before the episode? Yes, yes. Oh. Blinking. So this is when the episode starts. And he stops blinking. Question, Senator. Running for re-election in 2026. Replies. So he's obviously, he obviously has understood that the question's been asked of him. And he said, hmm. Still not blinking. Still not blinking. Right, sorry, you all. We're gonna need a minute. She winks. Not blinking. Calls someone. Still not blinking. He comes round. Still not blinking. Ah. Now he looks like he's quite wobbly here. Looks like he. Oh, he. There. He loses balance or feels a bit weak. Still, and now he starts blinking again. Right, so, and that's when he starts moving his head. Right, so there is a, br a brief window where he stops moving, feels, looks a bit weak, uh, goes into this daze and doesn't blink. Now let's have a look at the more the older one. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA. Uh, Blinks. This week has been good Blinks. and cooperation. Blinks. And a string of, uh, now, this is when the episode starts. Goes weak, stops blinking. Goes weak. People notice. Still not blinking. He looks like he goes weak. Now his locked gaze, where he's looking slightly up, his 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 gaze shifts. There, it moves down. His head moves. And now he, he, he recognises and responds to when someone asks him a question, and he blinks. Right, look. So, we've got all in a very... So there's this window of where he's kind of stopped responding in windows.exe has stopped working. And then, very quickly, in quite quick succession, you have gaze shifts, he feels wobbly, he moves his head, responds to someone speaking, and blinks, and it all kind of unlocks and unfreezes. And he acts quite cool, he's like, it just carries on. Mm. 
this is a month ago. Night. So this is the episode. And then... Aha, here we go. So this is afterwards, after the first incident. Ah, right, so he says, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Plays it quite cool. Huh? Any idea what happened? And he's, he still is struggling to, maybe this is a, because of his age, he is 81. Um, he struggles to hear. Uh, how are you feeling now? I'm fine. Have you seen a doctor? Are you going to Any see idea what happened? Huh? Any idea what happened? Twice he struggles to hear. What happened? I'm fine. That's and he said, uh, someone asked him, is, uh, do you know what happened? And he says, I'm fine. He just plays it off and then... He doesn't want to answer. He must know something. Because if he didn't know, he'd just say, I don't know. Someone says, are you dehydrated? <laughs> Gotta watch those sandbags. And he just plays it, he plays it down. He says he got sandbagged. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but... You know. Um, and he's, he's, he's quite old. And, I mean, this comment down here is very true. He's 81. He's got quite a high-ranking position in the US government. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's just gone midnight, so, can't, you know. Um, he's got quite a high-ranking position in the US government. And he, he's, he does make quite large decisions, so the question does have to be asked, because of this, is he, like, too old, perhaps? To be, although the president is older than him, so. You know, there's a, there's, that's a recurring trend in the US at the moment. Um, yeah, so, where he's, right, so we'll go back to this. Um, so after he was asked about running for re-election in 2026, he stood stock still, unblinking, and seemingly unable to answer, while holding tightly to an election game. Both times he was gripping it quite tightly. And back here... He was gripping it, especially when, especially when he dozes off, his grip gets tighter. And people try and take his hands off of the lectern and they won't move. And he, he isn't letting go of the lectern. Um, an aide escorted the senator away and he did not return to the event. Right, so he didn't, he didn't go away and then come back. He just left. This was the second time something like this happened in the past few weeks. But the next day, the Capitol doctor said the senator was cleared to continue with his work as planned. So perhaps they didn't find something or didn't find something which was serious enough to tell people or that they were concerned that he couldn't carry out his duties. The doctor's statement... Okay. Uh, the doctor's statement was... That the senator was uh, was light on details about what might have happened. That stated occasional lightheadedness is not uncommon in concussion recovery, and can also be expected as a result of dehydration. Now, I don't know how long. Here we go. Right. So in March this year, he fell. Uh, Washington Hotel. He hit his head and fractured a rib. His office confirmed that he had suffered a concussion. Now it doesn't say whether it was a severe concussion or a mild concussion or whatever it was. It just said they, he suffered a concussion. Now my thinking is that if it was a mild concussion, they would have said that, saying he's had a mild concussion. Don't, you know. But when they just say he's had a concussion, that does kind of lend towards the idea that it perhaps isn't mild. Um, anyway, so he had a concussion back in March. And the effects of concussion or the symptoms of it or whatever, symptoms normally display quite quickly after it's happened. But the effects of it, because it's the brain, it's quite, everyone's is different. So it's quite difficult to know what the long 
long-term, long-lasting effects of a concussion might be. So he had this concussion and then seemingly is fine. Excuse me, uh, between March and about start of, start of August-ish, end of July. And then he has this first episode. And then six, five, six weeks later, he has a second episode. Now, March, April, May, June, July. So it's like four months after the concussion, which is quite late for effects of something to present themselves. But it's not, it's not impossible. My thought that it would be some way related, but never know. Um, anyway, so they said he had um a concussion then his doctor said after the most recent one a few days ago said occasional lightheadedness is not uncommon in concussion recovery and can also be expected as a result of dehydration so one thing to take from that is that they say in concussion recovery so they're saying he's recovering so there can't be life-changing long-term damage so there just must be recovery from it so they they could be suggesting that it's going to happen every now and then for, for a little while while he's recovering and then hopefully it will stop. Um, and can also be lightheadedness can also be explained or expected as a result of dehydration. Now, I said in this one, his skin looked glossy. He and in both of these, he looks a slightly different color, not a major, not majorly different, but this one, he looks slightly paler um especially around here and has and is glossy now that could be to do with the lighting but in this one he looks his skin doesn't look as glossy it looks matte kind of colored and slightly um not glossy i suppose <laughs> um but so perhaps he is dehydrated which could Sorry. Um, yeah, but then if you're dehydrated, especially in is it this one? Yeah, he kind of it's it's such a it's a period. It's a window, a select window where he's speaking, 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 dozes off, goes dead, and then comes back again. I don't know. Um, the statement is perfectly accurate and could still be happening several months later. A neurologist and stroke specialist at Yale School of Medicine. However, they do not go on to state what they believe is medical, that they believe medically that this is the case, the cause for his symptoms witnessed on camera. So they're saying that this could be the reason, but they're not saying this is the reason it happened. Um, in 20, it, right, so in the last few years, in 2020, his hands and mouth area appeared to be deeply bruised, bruised, but remained adamant that, oh, uh, remained adamant that nothing was wrong and provided no explanation. In March, he fell and suffered a concussion. For six weeks, he was unable to return to the Senate. Um, and they, they is speculated, so not confirmed, that he had had other falls that year. And uh, when he was in this, in this one, when he stops speaking and walks away, when the when the press ask him questions he doesn't want to answer, he isn't. He doesn't look like he's doesn't look like he's particularly mobile. He, he's hobbling and. Which uh, he's hobbling away and kind of is. Folks, we're good, thank you. Is not walking quickly or. He's walking like an aged man, which is, is quite expected for the fact that he is an aged man. Can't presume he's a man or that he identifies. Doesn't matter. The point is, is that he's 81, I believe it says. Yeah, 81. And. 
everyone ages at different weights, but weight rates, but it makes you wonder whether there is something else which they're not saying, which could have a, a played a part in what's been happening. Um, so in July was the first one, and he just froze mid-sentence. Um, he's he's always never he's never really let on about what has caused it. Um, doctors rarely get the chance to see to see, and this is one of the fortunate things is that it's quite a public thing, so <laughs> you can't exactly get out of it or hide it. Um, both times he had to be escorted out and helped out of the room, and both times he didn't return to continue. Um, yes, yeah, so some of the reasons is that um, he could be having a partial seizure. Other doctors and other things I've heard on this is saying that he could be having some kind of stroke or a mini stroke. Um, a focal seizure. Yes, so the same the same characteristics both times. Um, one eye, or eye is deviating to one side and locking, um, and speech arrest, so he's unable to speak, and then seemingly going back to normal within about twenty to thirty seconds, and both. Both of the, the events where they both started lasted roughly the same time. And one way we can prove this is put them side by side. Now this is <laughs> this is getting quite quite into it. So we need to kind of get to the the times when both of the episodes start. Right, so that this this episode starts about because it says someone asks him a question, he doesn't understand it, says what are my thoughts about what, and then says it again, and then he goes ah, and then starts, and that's when it starts. With this one, Afternoon, everyone. someone doesn't ask him, he's just speaking, and you can see him slowly fade I'm out. On a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh... right. So we're going to play them side by side and see if there's any, if the, the timings are similar. There's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of, uh, oh, okay. Ah, right. Okay. So that's when that episode starts. Question, Senator, running for re-election in 2026. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. They almost are identical okay. in length. Almost identical to the second, which is quite strange or quite, you know, quite useful. Um, so, someone has said uh, because he suffered concussion earlier this year, it's possible that he's having post traumatic seizures following the head trauma, especially if there's any kind of bruising on the brain or blood on the surface of the brain. Um, it's impossible to basically say what is definitely happening. Um, other news outlets agree that his behaviour was in, indicative of a seizure. So they're all everything's kind of leaning towards some kind of seizure, perhaps an absent seizure or something like that. And felt attributing it to lightheadedness was flat out wrong. Yeah, because I'd say because they're quite that it's. It's quite a serious thing. It's not like he just felt a bit dizzy. Oops, sorry, I felt a bit dizzy there. It's he just blanks out. 
So saying he's just, oh, sorry, I was a bit lightheaded. That isn't lightheaded. Um, yeah. So it is going to be very difficult to determine what is the actual cause of this. But it's probably worth saying, so my thoughts is that it is some kind of seizure, perhaps an absent seizure. I've always thought it was something like an absent seizure. Um, and another person, other aspects of it could be, or another explanation of it could be some kind of post-traumatic seizure as a result of the concussion, or something to do with a, perhaps a bleed on the brain or blood on the surface of the brain. So there are quite a few explanations, but I do encourage you to go and have a look at these videos on your own and leave your comments below and let me know what you think is going on. If you see any stories in the media or anything you'd like me to react to, I will try and do that. Um, I will also, when Parliament starts sitting again, speak about different events if certain things come up which catch my eye. Other than that, yeah. How bizarre. It's, I'm just going to, yeah, to end, I'm just going to watch it again, this most recent one. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2016. Oh. That's silly. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yeah. It's almost like when she comes on, she's like, Keep double clicking and it goes big. It goes big. It's when it happens, they're like, "Oh, it's happened again!" Right? I better go on and try and help him. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in twenty twenty six. And then when he says that, he goes, "Yeah, I did hear." She's like, "Well, that's not a helpful answer, is it?" Twenty twenty six. It's almost like she's a bit annoyed there. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. It's that wink. I think all right. that wink is, is, is definitely quite significant, I think. I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. It's there. That Ira, she's like, yeah. Like, she goes to everyone. It's happened again. Just ignore it or something. You know, so... Anyway, um, yeah, there we go. That, that, that's my that's my kind of reaction. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I will see you again very soon. Ta-ra for now.